Hey Mike, I got uh, good news and then I got uh, not so good news. Uh, but anyway, uh, we got this piece off. It's laying on the ground over here. It actually uh, was glued and screwed to this chine, and we actually just pulled it in two. It just broke in two very easily. It's about eight feet long. But the good news is that the chine and the bottom uh, plywood, and this is the chine, all seem to be in pretty good shape. Uh, then I, met, I promised you a little bad news. Um, right here, this gusset, we've already removed it, but I'll just show you uh, how, how there was a rod in, the, in this piece of plywood gusset. Alright, then uh, behind the plywood gusset, there is some rod in these frames. Um, they, um, and we have rot in the back of the transom. Okay, I'm right around here on the transom. So I got rot in the back of the transom as well. That's probably halfway, halfway through the laminates. I do hit something hard eventually, but probably halfway through the laminates. So at the very least what we're proposing is we would slice off the transom at about the point, about the level of a swim platform, slice off this transom, and we replace the bottom half of the transom. Um, and uh, it's painted, so it'd just be a marine plywood. Um, the, uh, then we may want to replace the transom bow. We've got rod here and sister the end of this. In other words, cut this off, put another piece back in place exactly the same size, and then another layer on top of that. That's called a sister frame. And we may want to do that. Um, if we don't, if we just put a gusset in there and, and we treated this with some type of rod stop type material, you know, you might get another five years out of it, but then you're going to be doing this in five years. So you can 